It's shocking that politics plays a role in this building. Uh, absolutely shocking. I can't imagine that's the case. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said he still supports a border security deal that's linked to aid for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. But Wednesday night, he put months of negotiations in jeopardy when he said he doesn't want to do anything to undermine the presumptive Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump, who is against the deal. Just the possibility that Donald Trump could derail a bipartisan negotiation made multiple Republicans want to speak out and encourage negotiators to keep moving forward. I think James Langford's been working uh, very hard to secure the southern border uh, to give the next president, whomever it is, uh, more authority so that we can secure the southern border. So anything that interrupts that negotiation, uh, I think, would be tragic. And the idea that that someone running for president would say, please hurt the country so I can blame my opponent and help my politics is a, uh, uh, a shocking uh, uh, development. The top Democratic negotiator, Senator Chris Murphy, says they've had the outline of a deal done for several days and it's more than 90 percent written. I know there is a group of Republicans that just wants to keep this issue open, that wants to keep chaos at the border in order to exploit that politically. But I still believe that there's enough Republicans um, to join with Democrats to do something together. Murphy says we could know within 24 to 48 hours whether Trump's opposition to the deal is enough to derail it. Meanwhile, as lawmakers negotiate how to get aid to Israel and other allies, 49 senators, including 46 Democrats and three independents who caucus with the Democrats, introduced an amendment to the foreign aid package to reiterate U.S. policy that there needs to be a two-state solution between Israel and Gaza. And the pathway to peace will be a Palestinian state in the state of Israel moving side by side, each recognizing the other's security and rights to exist with a stronger economic prosperity for all. Supporters of the amendment include lawmakers who have been unapologetically pro-Israel since the war began, including Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senators Richard Blumenthal and Jackie Rosen, who are all Jewish. Senator Bernie Sanders also supports the amendment. He too is Jewish and is calling for the U.S. to stop sending Israel money that can be used in the war effort. Straight from D.C., I'm Ray Bogan.